Hi there, this is Josh, and today I'm here with a spoiler-free book review. Uh, you may uh, recognize the book if you watched my uh, video where I named my 10 favorite books from 2015. Uh, it appeared at number 8, but I wanted to talk a little bit more about it because the concept and the message behind it was just so extraordinary that I felt it needed a bit more uh, in-depth discussion. And I'm talking about uh, Keep the Aspidistra Flying by George Orwell, which I read in this uh, collection uh, from Every Man's Library. Uh, it includes uh, Burmese Days and Coming Up for Air, but uh, Keep the Aspidistra Flying is the uh, second of uh, three uh, works that are in here. Uh, I was going to get uh, Keep the Aspidistra Flying as an individual uh, work, but this was only a little bit more expensive, and I may want to read these uh, other two stories uh, in the future. Uh, but this particular work follows a man pushing the age of 30. His name is Gordon Comstock. He worked as a copywriter for an advertising company under a Mr. Ernskane. And he realized he wasn't fond of the job because it went against his beliefs. And his beliefs were anti-money. There was a bit of anti-capitalism, but at the same time, there was a bit of anti-socialism and anti-communism. Uh, Gordon just seemed to be the kind of person that did not want to be dominated by money. Unfortunately for him, humanity is dominated by money and wealth. It's unfortunate, but... It's very difficult to uh, name the things that you can do if you took money out of the picture. Uh, you would be uh, scavenging, and then you would have to figure out what part of uh, your expeditions without money would be legal. But in Gordon's case, he took up a job uh, in a bookshop, and he lives in a crummy apartment, which is run by a very domineering Mrs. Wisebeach. She does not allow any uh, female guests in the uh, household. It's uh, The residents are male, and they cannot bring any of their female guests in with them. Uh, so Gordon's girlfriend, Rosemary, would not be allowed, and... On the topic of her, uh, Rosemary is a very supporting uh, girlfriend to Gordon, even through his uh, expeditions, that he does not uh, want to spend the money on big meals, or he doesn't want to do things that are going to clean him out. Uh, he's barely able to uh, pay his rent. Uh, on one hand, he wants to uh, see where his poetry is going to take him. But on the other hand, he has difficulty finding the motivation to write. He released a collection called Mice, and he has something else that is in the works. Uh, and that's where uh, Ravelson, who is the editor of Antichrist, which is a literary magazine, comes in. Ravelston's another supportive a patient uh, person that Gordon knows. And with that, uh, he uh, helps make his way around, even though Gordon uh, obviously can test people's patience uh, very easily. Another important thing to know is uh, Gordon's background. Uh, he's the last remaining... Comstock in his clan of the family. His parents are both deceased. He only has a sister who 
has pretty much become a quote-unquote old man. And uh, he's got aunts and uncles, but none of them have uh, children that can carry the name. So, it's pretty much on Gordon, and from what we're seeing, uh, things don't look very hopeful. I think that, I felt that this was a pretty uh, reason, I, I enjoyed reading this. I think that Gordon is somebody that uh, a lot of people can relate to, uh, especially uh, if they have this uh, mentality uh, about uh, the struggles of uh, how money is holding them da down. Uh, I felt that uh, Gordon was a very interesting individual. Uh, the downside to him, I felt, was uh, the only way that you uh, are able to control money is with a lot of money. Because money is, in humanity, money is what is uh, crucial in uh, giving you the say and the decisions. Because it it is needed in any... It's a need and a want in every aspect of human desire and of human uh, survival. There was an opportunity, uh, I'm not going to say too much, that Gordon had, uh, Gordon had possession of money, and the decision that he made was quite a big question mark, almost very it was very cringeworthy, uh, and that's all I'm going to say, which, that was one of the uh, downsides to me. Uh, of course it explains the uh, flaws of human nature, but I, I was at some point, I was thinking uh, Gordon was definitely going to be somebody that... Uh, had my attention, and uh, I can feel, I can uh, have a emotion for him, but emotions of uh, gratitude, but some of those decisions that he made, I was thinking, what? Really? But I think a lot of people can see where he's coming from, and a lot of people are going to look at it differently, which... Uh, there's probably going to be ways that people are either going to feel really sympathetic, they're going to feel really agitated, or they're going to feel feelings of both, and in different doses. And all I, what I know for sure is that he was surrounded by a very supportive group of people, and... He should be really thankful because they could have walked out at any time on him and as quickly as they possibly could, but you got to give them a lot of credit The uh, with Rosemary and Ravelston and even Julia, even though she was uh, taking care of her own things. Uh, but she would uh, uh, respond uh, here and there. I gave it a 9 out of 10 rating because I felt that the message really uh, hit it big, but the question as to whether or not Gordon is uh, a uh, strong enough poster child for his cause and whether or not he is an ideal representative or not uh, can really uh, uh, bring about questions. And some people may just not even want to be bothered. But 
I think it's a strong enough message, and I think that uh, this is a great example of uh, Orwell novels outside of Animal Farm in 1984 that definitely deserve attention. Again, uh, if you want to check out the collection, uh, this is uh, uh, published by Every Man's Library. I got it off of Amazon, but you may be able to find it in a bookstore if you look deeply into uh, an Orwell section. Thank you for watching, and for now, keep reading.